Hello and welcome to Technic Combinations. In these one-off tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how you can combine multiple things on which I've already done tutorials to create a better whole. So this time, I'll be showing you the Energy Flower. This comes in three different forms, and each performs a different function. This first one is used to power Klein stars using an antimatter relay. And for this, you'll need five energy collectors and one antimatter relay. First of all, you place a collector, and then shift and right click to place a relay on top of it. And then shift and click again to place collectors on each side. Note that this can be arranged in any of the six directions, so you can choose where you want it to face. When you have arranged it so that you can access the relay, you can open it up and see that it is quickly filling up with free EMC. You can then place a climb star in the right hand slot to fill it quickly. This next one uses an expanded version of the original to power an energy collector. This can be used to very quickly upgrade fuels so that you can turn even charcoal into atinalis fuel in very little time. And for this you'll need 18 energy collectors and 5 antimatter relays. You start off by placing an energy collector just as you would with a relay on top and surrounding it by energy collectors. You then place an energy collector on top of the original relay and surround that again by antimatter relays. The relays work to focus the EMC from the collectors and it will bring them together and focus them onto a single collector. Once you have this, you can then place one more collector on top of each of the four relays and then access the central one. You can see here just how quickly it upgrades or how quickly a stack goes up. This final formation focuses around an energy condenser replacing the central collector in the system. This can be used to quickly produce large amounts of matter of any form. Again you place the energy collector at the bottom and build it up using collectors and relays. But instead of a collector you place the condenser on top of the initial relay and then surround that. And don't forget to place the four collectors on top. All you have to do is access the top one, and you can enter a target, and it starts making it on its own. Note that it will not begin to collect EMC in here until you place the target. Until then it will just collect in the five relays around it. The reason you cannot use multiple relays to charge a Klein star is relays will pass their collected EMC into collectors or condensers but will not pass them into fellow relays. Note also that while collectors will emit enough light to continue going day or night, you can maximize their progress by placing glowstone blocks or jack-o'-lanterns above each of the top ones. Thank you for watching. You can find the individual tutorials of each of the constituents of this combination in the description below. And if you have any requests not to do with the Tetan Pack, please let me know in a comment. Catch you later.